Hi guys, we're in uh, Bartlett, and uh, this is the property that we're going to, a perfect flip, right? The question is, do you flip it or do you forget it? So let's kind of go through, we'll walk through, we'll see what makes sense. There's multiple offers, so we came here to look at it, to decide whether it's a property that even we even want to get into a multiple bidding war. So, um, Lori, let's kind of go through it, and uh, then we'll talk about it back in the kitchen. Huge, huge, huge house, as you guys can see. All the siding is pretty much shot. Uh, I'm not sure if we can really save it for a flip. I don't know. Uh, maybe you can paint it, but it's that old cedar, 70s kind of siding. And then uh, from a flip perspective, you're looking for, okay, what are the things that we can make look brand new here? Doesn't matter what you do with the floors, they're shot. Windows, for a flip, I think, they're pretty much shot. Uh, as we come in here, um, this is all flooring that will have to be redone. Uh, now mind you, this is the side of the house which is just massive. It adds a huge amount of square footage. So what do you do with this particular room? And just because there's square footage in the house, the concern is that is it really gonna raise the value? So if an average property in here is say 3,000 square foot and this is 3,500, how many areas do we have to touch? Because your touch points count when you're doing a flip. So this is completely, everything is good with the walls and everything, but something has to be relayed here. All the windows are pretty much done. They all need to be uh, redone. You know, all this is kind of old hardware. There's no way for us to really save this for a flip in this area. So that's going to be another thing we need to account for um, as we come in here. Um, all this needs to be spru spruced up. The deck needs to be, something needs to be done with the deck. The patio door needs to be completely changed. So this is kind of the dining room. That gets us into the kitchen here. The kitchen is pretty straightforward. The house, in fact, is way too big for this kitchen. So this is going to have to be modernized. Something. Uh, may have to be done here. Um, again, in general, a very small, I don't know, what do you call this, a family room, uh, living room, uh, whatever you want to call this particular room, this is just way too small. It almost looks like, I know it's not that way, but it almost looks like, like this piece of the house was, that piece was added to this piece because that is massive. So let's kind of make our way up. See, at this point, I'm not really doing a detailed recording because all we're trying to decide is, is this something we're going to compete on? So we're not, there's a half bath also down there. I'll let you go up, Lori. So as you guys can see, the, floor, the stairs need to be touched. They're kind of crooked. And then we get to the top part of the house. There's a bathroom right there. Nothing big, just needs to be spruced up. Now, when we get up here, this is a room that makes sense for this type of house, so that's very standard. Now, if we get here, there's an additional room. This is the size of the room that makes sense, 10 by 14 room, but clearly they added something. They might have had a child um, or a teenager. They wanted to give extra space, so they clearly took it from the room besides this. Now, this is great, but these two walls here make no functional sense and it just looks odd. So this is gonna to have to be cleared up somehow, either that taken out or let's go in the next room and let's see what's going on there. So this is the master. Now this obviously, uh, at the first look, sometimes people are like, oh my God, this is massive. And yes, this is massive, but for these types of houses, and if you look kind of uh, over there, that's where the bathroom is. The bathroom is tiny. I mean, the master bedroom is enough to, uh, you know, have 10 beds in here. And then compared to that, your, uh, the master bathroom is just really, really tiny. Now you're like, well, can't you fix that? We can fix it. The problem is, how much does it cost? So this is the entire master. So the biggest issue here is not that we can't relay this. The point of this is, what is the cost? So we so far, we haven't even been into the basement. And we know the basement got flooded, it's got mold. So based on this, Lori, you've been out with me to a lot of properties. Um, 
this is a property that right now we have a bid in for 190, Correct. right? Um, what do you think, just based on the square footage with all these videos that we have done uh, for, uh, with mastery students, with us, what would you say uh, that flip it or forget it? At first glance, flip it. But now going actually looking inside of it, definitely forget it because you're going to need about at least 80 to 100 in, in work, depending on if we can get rid of the siding or not. If, if, can... if that, maybe yeah. even more, right? Exactly. Um, so this is a property that we, this is just, I'm talking about from a standpoint of uh, with 800 plus properties touched. For us, this would be a property that we would just look at, go, you know, it's beyond what we want to do. Can we do it? Yes. But for the amount of money that you're going to put in, the return is just not there, right? So for somebody who's new, somebody who has a couple hundred thousand bucks and they're like, well, I want to do it. If you want to do properties as a hobby, fantastic, go ahead. But if you want to do a hobby as, I mean, excuse me, properties as a business, this is a property that we're going to say, let's just forget it. We're not going to get in a bidding war and we're just going to walk away from it. So uh, hope that helps. So thank you for joining us on Flip It or Forget It.